People unfamiliar with how editing works will often ask me if I Photoshop my photos in order to make them look better. While I do often use Photoshop to remove people in landscapes or maybe remove an unwanted branch reaching into a photo, the bulk of my work is actually done in Adobe Lightroom. Well, what is Lightroom then? And if you use it to edit your photos, it must be quite similar to Photoshop, right? Do you Photoshop your photos in Lightroom? Those are just a few of the follow-up questions that get asked in response to my explanation. It is also true that many beginner photographers will not know the differences between Photoshop and Lightroom and there'll be some confusion as to which program to start off with. I was in the same position when I started my adventure with digital photography. So today let's take a minute and talk about what exactly Lightroom and Photoshop are and how they differ. And who knows you might be able to use this video the next time you get asked if you Photoshop your images. I don't see myself as someone who retouches photos. I process them. So it slightly infuriates me when people treat the two as equal. If I had to sum up the differences between Lightroom and Photoshop in a single sentence, I'd say that Lightroom is used for the non-destructive manipulation of large groups of images. And Photoshop is used for highly complex and destructive manipulation of a single photo at a time. And if I could add another sentence, I'd say Lightroom is used for photo processing, whilst Photoshop is used for photo retouching. Though, of course, Photoshop can be used for processing too, and it does get used for processing. It's just that I and many others don't use it in that way. What does destructive mean in this context? It all has to do with how the program treats a file. Lightroom as a non-destructive editor won't touch your file. It won't change the original file you import. You could take Windows Explorer, go onto your hard drive or SSD or wherever you keep your photos and find that exact original file without any editing done to it. Photoshop on the other hand will change the original file. It is a destructive editor. Let's take a moment to talk about what exactly Lightroom is and what it does. Lightroom set out to help photographers manage large collections of digital photos. And to this day, that is still a core part of the application. That might sound like Lightroom is just some form of fancy Windows Explorer, but the truth is Lightroom can do so much more. In Lightroom, you can quickly rate photos, you can attach keywords, you can catalog them, you can add them to collections, and so on and so forth. You can also add GPS tags to your photos and if you don't have a camera with a GPS sensor in you can look at my video somewhere up here on how you can do that using one of these. Because Lightroom has all of that information stored in its database you can also use it to search for specific images. Using filters you can find photos using any of the information either the file or you have provided Lightroom. But Lightroom isn't just an organizational tool. Using Lightroom's develop module, you can non-destructively develop images without ever having to leave the application. This includes basic adjustments such as exposure, contrast, saturation, and also more advanced options such as tone curves and split toning. But you won't find the kind of complex retouching tools in Lightroom that you find in Photoshop. And you certainly won't find any liquify tool in Lightroom which is in fact the Photoshop tool that is often used to enlarge and shrink certain body parts shall we say. If I'd have to guess I'd say that I do around 90% of my edits purely in Lightroom. Especially using the graduated and radial filters there's a lot you can do without ever having to open Photoshop. Because edits in Lightroom aren't applied to a single file but are just a many many lines of codes in a database, you can take all of those edits, copy them and paste them onto another image and onto another one. Or you could also just sync up all the edits you're doing onto a whole group of photos. That plus not having to wait for Photoshop to open, make Lightroom edits very, very fast. I do generally have a go at photos which I rate four or five stars in Photoshop though that's mainly just to use the more advanced object removal tools. But even on those photos, the bulk of the work is done in Lightroom and Photoshop is only used for the final touch-ups. 
We fly Truma out of the way on to the next question. What exactly is Photoshop and what role does it play in digital photography? Photoshop is more of an image retouching program. It doesn't have a catalog or any file management features. It is meant to be used to work on one photo at a time. Though that doesn't mean you can't add multiple photos in the form of layers. Using those layers, you can add anything to your file. Photos, drawings, figures, you name it. Using the layers, you can, for example, easily create composites out of multiple photographs. In terms of image manipulation, Photoshop can do way more than Lightroom. But Photoshop is complex, way more complex than Lightroom. To give you an example of how complex Photoshop is, just think of all the pictures you've seen of Photoshop mistakes in ads. Even professionals get it wrong in Photoshop and forget things. Within Photoshop, you've got more advanced object removal tools and also the aforementioned Liquify tool, both of which are of interest to certain types of photographers. These two tools are a good example of the destructive nature of Photoshop. They work by actively manipulating the pixels within your image. The object removal tool can remove things from your photos using machine learning and Liquify I will push and pull pixels into the desired shape. And there you have it. The answer you can give whenever someone asks you if you Photoshop your images. Just tell them you process your images in Lightroom. That sounds way more interesting anyways. If you learned anything from this video, I would highly appreciate a like as a form of saying thank you. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing to my channel, especially if you're interested in more videos on Lightroom and Photoshop, because I've got a few of those lined up. All right, that's enough from me for Monday. I will see you in the next one. Bye.